wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you Corners in the paddock in my piece, a push a piece. Uh, cop new hammers for my piece, we don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot, check for peace. Drop the data, now we plot, inside the piece. Today, I'm gonna be deep cleaning, organizing. So I was not planning on vlogging, but I got me a package and I wanted to open it with you guys. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been waiting on this package for a hollow minute, so I'm really excited. With this package showing up, I decided to try to have an attempt to weekly vlog. I always wanted to weekly vlog. I always wanted to like have like these long vlogs, but it's so hard for me because you guys know, as you guys can hear in the back, I have a daughter. Also, I work in nine to five. Drum roll, please. My new camera. Woo! I know that's right. My new camera came today, y'all. I had a Canon G7X. That was my camera that I was using and it broke. Out of nowhere, the screws started to come loose and then the viewfinder just kind of like came off. Could have sent it into Canon and that would have been $400 or I could have got me the camera that I wanted, the camera that I put on my vision board. It was in God's will, you know, cause if it's a will, it's a way. And I was able to get the camera that I actually wanted. I'm gonna unbox the Sony ZV-1. This is how it looks. And I've been wanting this camera for a hot little minute. Also, got a case. So this is the case. I got this from Amazon. Getting this camera, you guys, is like a confirmation for me that whatever you put out is gonna come to you eventually. You know, it might not come when you want it to come, but eventually it's gonna come to you. I finally got my camera. You guys are about to get weekly vlogs. You guys are about to get challenges. You guys are about to get everything, okay? We got the manual for the camera, the little Sony. So you can just charge it. You don't have to take the battery out to charge it. Because with my Canon, I had to take the battery out to charge it, y'all. Oh, this look good. <laughs> this look good, girl. Ooh, I'm so happy. Ah! I'm sorry about all the screaming, y'all. Look at my baby. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm still editing on my iPhone. You know, we're taking baby steps right now. Once I figure everything out, I want to start filming on it. My next big purchase would be to buy like a little MacBook, a little MacBook laptop and um, start editing on that. I put that on my vision board as well, so you never know. You never know when it's gonna come through, all right? I'm so happy. <laughs> this is what you have to deal with when you're a mom. Yes, mom, you got a new camera. Mm-hmm. This is my Canon vlog camera, you guys. Completely broken. My first baby. Thank you. <laughs> Period. Okay. I'm just so happy y'all and I want to share, I want to share that with you guys. Little tip for all of my girls that's out there that's starting a YouTube channel and everything like that. I had to film on my iPhone for about like, how many, like how many months? Probably like three months or something. So sometimes you have to take a step back to take 10 steps forward, so. I'm happy I'm about to figure this out. I wanna see you guys on my new camera. Hey y'all. Hey y'all, so it is September the 30th. I didn't vlog yesterday because you guys know that I got a new camera and I'm really just trying to take time out to figure out how to work that camera y'all because I really wanna start vlogging on my camera. You know, I'm gonna take my time. You know, I have nothing but time, so. 
Yeah. I am so excited. Tomorrow is going to be October the 1st. It's going to be a new month. Fall is my favorite season, you guys. It's been feeling so good in Houston for the past couple of days. I'm super excited. I'm going to do a monthly reset. September went by super fast. It's like a blur. I don't know how to explain September. September definitely was a month full of lessons. The whole month of September, I just feel like I was being tested. It's like I was getting tested and then I pass and then I get blessed. Test it, pass, and then get blessed. Like it was just a lot going on in September. I'm really grateful for September because there's a lot of things that I learned about myself. It's a lot of life lessons that I'm gonna take with me into October. Mercury retrograde is coming to an end on October the 2nd. I am so happy because Mercury retrograde was kicking my ass, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm so happy. I feel like this is my favorite season. Mercury retrograde is finally over. October is just gonna be a month full of blessings and I'm just, I'm super excited, super motivated. I've never been more motivated than what I am right now. a new day it's october the first period look as soon as my camera focus period i just love the fall like i love the fall y'all so anyway i woke up in a really good mood i kind of figured out my camera the only thing that i need to fix is how to export the videos to my phone um i know how to do it but it takes too long so I'm gonna see if I can go to Best Buy real quick. I can get like a plug where I can like plug my memory card into it and kind of like export it like that. I don't know, anything to make that quicker cause it took like three to five minutes just to export a 45 second video. And I'm not, no, no. I cannot wait to get my laptop, speaking into existence, manifesting. Period. I'm out and about just to run a couple errands. What I'm doing right now, I'm at Dollar Tree. Um, I just came to Dollar Tree because um, every Halloween I do kind of like decorate the apartment because Zyla loves like, believe it or not, she's only three, but she loves like Halloween. Best Buy. I went to Dollar Tree. I just got a couple items from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to put up any decorations until um, further into the month. But yeah, I just had to do that really quickly. Also, I'm going to run into Target really quickly. I'm just going to get some Celsius and some off. 
and um that's it i might get some moisturizer just because it's getting like the weather is changing in houston it's getting a little chilly so my skin has been really really dry i'm calling october october's weight loss shred so for the whole month of october i do plan on just shredding like i plan on making a plan that's going to help me just shred like everything for the month of October I do plan on getting as close as I can to my goal weight as I told you guys in my last vlog I do plan on going vegan for 30 days I'm not really sure on all the details I'm either vegan or pescatarian one of those this best buy don't be having nothing I'm not even gonna sit here and lie <sighs> let's see let's see I'm about to drink my Celsius water. My camera is saying that it only has two minutes. Two minutes on my SD card. That's weird because there's nothing on this SD card. So, yeah, I'm going through it. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, I just got done running the track, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. The fact that when I first started my weight loss journey, I refused to run because I was embarrassed and now I'm like running the track two times and I'm running three miles. Like today I ran three miles, y'all. So proud of myself. But yeah, I just came back from Kroger's, only spent like 20 bucks, got me a couple of snacks, you know, just some snacks until I eat my middle of the day, whatever I want to eat. So I'm going to quickly show you guys. I got these rice chips sour cream and chive that's how they look they're 260 calories or probably like 270 one of them and then I got these honey roasted peanuts fruit grain little cereal bars one bar is 130 calories so I got that these sweet and salty granola bars one of them is 170 calories so yeah i actually got two of these i like these teriyaki noodles and um i also like the rice the um spanish rice that they be having and then i got me some bananas some bananas bananas are like my favorite fruit that and kiwi so i did that and then i got me some potatoes because i love potatoes so yeah, and I got this coconut water. So I never tried coconut water. I heard that it's really good and it makes you feel like really, really hydrated. So we're gonna try this. I'm just so proud of myself. I can literally run, like run nonstop for probably about like five minutes or so. Like I'm so happy, I'm so proud of myself. It's always the little things, the little goals, the little milestones that really just, it keeps me going, keeps me motivated, okay? 
I'm about to try out these rice chips. I'm hoping that they taste good. <laughs> Okay. This is what I'm having for my snack. It's six o'clock. I have my meal of the day at nine. I start cooking at nine. I feel like it's like the perfect time to cook my meal of the day. I wanted to catch up with you guys on yesterday while I'm drinking my pre-workout. I went to the track, I had a good run. I ran almost four miles and um, I burned a lot of calories. I have a Fitbit watch so it tells me exactly like when I'm at my cardio peak. It tells me how much fat burning calories I burned and stuff. Now, I'm not surprised. I woke up, I do not feel good. <laughs> My allergies is a mess. I have a scruffy throat. I've been coughing and I'm coughing up TMI. I'm coughing up mucus, y'all. I knew this was gonna happen, <laughs> but it felt so good. I was like, I'm just gonna risk it. After I work out, I probably take like some Sudafed or some Tylenol or something like that because <sighs> sis. I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm still gonna work out. And then last night for my meal of the day, I made some broccoli. The broccoli was so good, y'all. I ate all the broccoli. But yeah, I made some broccoli and my teriyaki, teriyaki noodles that I showed you guys yesterday. Day one down of not eating any meat. I decided that instead of going vegan for 30 days, I was just gonna do pescatarian because I love salmon, I love shrimp, I love seafood, so that's the goal, right? All right, you guys, so I made it to the gym. Super excited to work out, to break a sweat. The first time I'm in the gym and I'm able to like listen to music and actually like focus and work out. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Got on my waist trainer. My first time working out in my waist trainer. At first I couldn't fit it. I couldn't zip it up at all. 
but I've lost weight since I got it. Wow, it's been 10 months. It took me 10 months to get into this waist trainer. That's so crazy. Finally can fit it to the point where it's comfortable. Comfortable enough to work out in. So I'm gonna start working out in it and get my money's worth because it was like $135. I'm just gonna constantly wear it for the whole month of October and we're gonna see if it snatches my waist because this is what waist trainers are for. I want my butt like this and I want my waist like this. <laughs> okay, this is how I want my waist to be in real life. Okay. Waist wear. I'm gonna do a good like 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes of lifting heavy. And then I'm gonna end my workout with cardio. I always end my workouts with cardio. So I do like the treadmill or I do like the bike. I'm gonna start off with the arms. I've been trying to work out my arms a lot lately because you guys know that I'm insecure about my arms. But I've been trying to work them out. I just want to work on my insecurities, work on what I'm insecure about, work on them while trying to embrace them, embrace my insecurities, embrace my body. We're starting our workout with the weekend. I just got out of the shower. <sighs> I'm getting ready. I'm rushing to get ready because it's already 4:30. But as you guys saw, I worked out today and then I went washing. Today is Sunday. So on Sundays, I really just like to wash, organize. Basically, just get ready for the week. Today is my sister's birthday, so we're gonna go somewhere today. We're just gonna go somewhere to get out the house because it's her birthday. So that's what I'm getting ready for. I'm just gonna do like a simple makeup look. My camera died, so I couldn't show you guys my workout, but I had a really, really good workout. That was a really good workout. I pushed myself, I did extra reps, so 10 out of 10, all right? A little tip for anybody that wants to by the Sony ZV-1. Now the quality, I love the quality. The quality, great quality. But the battery life, you guys, oh my God. The battery life is trash, okay? Like literally trash. I made a little post on Instagram before I bought this camera and someone already told me that the battery life was trash, so. I knew it was trash, I didn't know it was this trash. You can charge this camera for hours and i'm telling you you're only going to get a good 30 minutes of footage out of it like 30 minutes pushing it you're pushing it 40 minutes okay if i want to like take this out and i'm going the whole entire day i gotta have multiple batteries because just having one is not cutting it the battery life is trash i'm just gonna put it out there the sun is giving but my eyes is like is, ah! <laughs> I am so mad. Okay, let me tell you guys real quick. Okay, never mind. I have other sunglasses in here. I'm at Walmart. Like I said, it's my sister's birthday. I came to Walmart to get her some flowers and a card. I think she's going to be really surprised because I don't think she's expecting anything. Including myself. I'm including myself when I say this. That every year... Your birthday like you get less excited about your birthday I want that to stop because I feel like it's a blessing to be able to 
be on this earth for another year and be able to celebrate your birthday with your loved ones my birthday is coming up in a couple months and the last couple of months of 2022 i really just want to work on myself not only physically but mentally i want to be in a right headspace when my birthday comes around because i want to enjoy my birthday and i want to be excited about my birthday for my snack i have a bottle of water and this nature's bar i probably get something from walmart just to have something on my stomach because i haven't eaten anything all day so that's a bad thing like even though i'm not hungry like i don't feel hungry i'm gonna try to force myself to eat something because i need to eat something like you need to eat my anxiety is already walmart is always so packed i hate coming to walmart i like walmart i just hate coming to walmart it's too packed and the way my anxiety is set up no I just got her some simple roses. I'm gonna stop and get her a vase, like a little dollar vase from the dollar store. And I got me seasonal blend um, fruit. It has mango, pineapple, grapes, strawberry, all that jazz. I probably cook my meal of the day when I get home. Who knows? All the things you do, all the things you do, 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 do. It seems that you're the only Rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of life. Not knowing each other for real. Hold up. Lord, flower bomb, firefly. Then low. Take me home. I just got done cooking my dinner. I got home from with my sister about 7:30 ish. So when I got home, I started cooking. I'm finally done. It's around 9:30. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly what I'm having for my meal of the day, and then I'm gonna call it a night, y'all, because I'm tired. I'm about to eat because I'm hungry, y'all. Haven't really eaten anything today. Just some potatoes and Spanish rice. I'm probably not gonna eat all of this. I'm probably gonna save some for later for tomorrow. But the potatoes are likely gonna fill me up. Good morning, y'all. So it is October 4th. Yesterday I didn't vlog because it was my rest day. Highly, highly recommend rest days, y'all. When I first started my weight loss journey, I wanted to lose the weight so bad that I didn't listen to my body. So I will constantly, I will, I will work out every day, eat very little, and I will push myself and ignore the signs of my body telling me that it needed a break. So being on my weight loss journey for almost two years, I've learned that you need to listen to your body. If your body is telling you it needs a break, take a rest. You know, take a rest day. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to set you back. It's actually going to help you be able to go harder in the gym once you go back. Yeah, I took me a nice little rest day and now I'm up. I'm up at 6 a.m. I'm about to go work out before I go to work. Okay, I went to sleep early, so I feel good. Like I feel awake. Highly recommend to try to get at least seven or eight hours of sleep. That's something that I'm working on right now because you guys know I'm a mom, it's hard.
brothers brought it, they cut it for me Yeah, they gon' cut you for me Lay in a cup with them cutters and cut you for free Say she in love with me But say you love, I just want your company I fall in the glove for free I give my daps and them husband them ones for me Cause that type of shit don't phase a player uh, This type of shit is what make a hater When you got it out the mud, yeah Ran it up, yeah Really don't get no Two hours later If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular Tell me would you Well baby I've been around the world but I ain't seen myself another girl like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you free time so I was just like you know what I might as well do me a mask make my detox tea that's what I just made I wanted to go over my monthly goals you know for October I separated four categories and what I wanted to accomplish for the month of October um, so we're going to start off with health and fitness. My goals for that category is early morning workouts. It just makes my day better. So what I want to do is Monday through Friday, I want to wake up super early to work out. And then on the weekends, I can kind of like sleep in. I used to be able to just wake up early, but now I just have a hard time doing that. Meal prepping. I just want to be able to meal prep on the weekdays, y'all, just so that I'm not always trying to figure out what I'm, I'm going to eat. My last two meals that I've showed you guys, um, I kind of just be putting stuff together and I really just want to have like a meal plan and I want to meal prep and I want to know exactly what I'm eating. I want to stop eating at 9 p.m. I always say that I start my, I start making my meal at 9.30. So by the time I'm done with it, I'm like, I'm done eating around like 10, 15, 10, 30, and I don't like that. I want to be done eating at 9 p.m. Get more organized, get more focused. That's just something that I feel like I've been lacking in September. It's something that I need to work on in October and get eight hours of sleep. As you guys can see, it's not working for me. <laughs> it's not working for me. It's literally three o'clock in the morning and... I'm tired. Now the next category is budget. What I've learned in September that I'm putting into October is 
that I really do need to learn how to budget more. Write down every bill that I need to pay and then every time I get paid to just put something towards that bill. And self-care. After I had my daughter and then I started my weight loss journey, I completely just stopped doing self-care. So I really just want to start pouring into myself, doing more self-care and just doing stuff that relaxes me and make me happy. Go outside more, you know, get more fresh air because I'm always working. I'm always in mommy mode. I never have the time sometimes to like just really go outside and just enjoy the sun. Pray more because prayer is powerful. I pray all the time every day, but it's nothing wrong with praying more. Buy self-help books. I've been writing down so many books I want to read. So for the month of October, I really do want to like focus on reading because I love reading. And the last tab that I got is social media. So I didn't want to make a lot of goals for October because I want to be able to equally give time to each one. I never really made goals for all of my social medias. I'm an upcoming influencer and I really want to start taking my social media platforms more seriously. So I just kind of made, you know, little goals for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. That's all the goals that I have for the month of October. So I want to share that with you guys. Super excited. Not excited about the detox part, but super excited to detox. And then every time I detox, I feel like I'm starting fresh. Hey y'all, so it is a new day. I'm running off of five hours of sleep. I'm still trying to be productive today. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to pour me a glass of my lemon water that I made yesterday. I haven't eaten anything because I've been detoxing. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's supposed to help keep you hydrated and everything like that. So can you please stop? No, I need to stop. Okay, well, just wait. Mommy's about to pour. Thank you. We're about to let Zyla taste it first because she she really wants to taste it. She's been Googling it. Okay. Okay. You like it? Is it sour? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, it turned out so good. It was sour. It was sour? It was really sour? Yes. Yes. <laughs> lemons that I put in this were organic lemons. So I don't know, they were just the right amount of sour, the right amount of sweetness. Hazelnut iced coffee. I decided to um, stop at McDonald's and get me some iced coffee. I don't really like McDonald's, but I would be lying if I say they didn't have some good coffee. Not really hungry. I got my waist trainer on, so it's kind of like, you know. We're gonna stop at Barnes & Noble really quickly because I wanna see if they have one of my books that I wanna read. It's a lot of self-help books that I've just been writing down in my notes. So I wanna at least read two of them by the end of October. This is going to fill me up till like later tonight. You guys hear something in the back? Zyla is watching Spongebob. So yeah, I got a little TV back there so she can watch her little shows and chill. You know, chill while she's riding around with me.
just get this book that I've been looking for for months, y'all. Literally, the last copy. The last copy. I was gonna get Can Hurt Me by David Goggins, but I just re realized that I had it on my Kindle because I have a Kindle on my phone and um, yeah, I have the magic of thinking big on it. I just have a lot of books on my Kindle, which I could have bought this on my Kindle, but I just wanted it in the physical. This is called The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. say one more thing before I end out this vlog so I just wanted to read the first page of this book I really do feel like I'm going to learn a lot of things from this book y'all I'm already interested and I've been doing a lot of self-reflecting and a lot of organizing and just trying to take the steps that I need to take to become the best version of myself. Believe, really believe you can move a mountain and you can. Not many people believe that they can move mountains. So as a result, not many people do. That really hit something emotional in me because when I first started YouTubing, when I first started my weight loss journey, it's like I wanted, I wanted to lose the weight, but I didn't, I didn't think, like I didn't see me losing the weight. I didn't, I didn't think I had it in me to lose the weight. And when I started my YouTube channel, you know, I wanted to create a platform where I can, I can be out in the open, be positive, women empowerment, body positivity, but I couldn't see it for myself. And it was so many people that were telling me like, I can't believe you you're doing that, or I can't believe you you wanna you wanna make a YouTube. You're not gonna do anything with that YouTube. And I don't know. I the moral of the story, because I feel like I'm kind of just talking in circles, is you have to believe that whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. It's the last three months of 2022, my goal is to think positive. My goal is to speak things into existence and to live my life as if I already accomplished the things that I want to accomplish. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. It means the world to me. Super excited for the content that I'm going to be dropping. And just thank you guys so much for just always supporting me and always sending me the most kind messages because it literally makes me so happy and I be needing it. Like I really be needing it at the time. And it seems like you guys always send me the right stuff at the right time. And I love you guys. Like I really, really love you guys. So thank you guys so much. And um, I will see you guys in my next video.